Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be discussing why all these little red dots are everywhere. Specifically, we all know, well, most of us should know why those dots show up, and it's because you've got some type of upgrading to do. For me specifically, it is the wonderful T4 um, ability material, which, you know, God only knows we don't get enough of. I'm right at 200, so... You know, I'm, I've got plenty I could upgrade, and um, the question is, is what do I want to upgrade? Where do I want to spend it? Why do I want to do it? Uh, or what? Where, who do I want to put it towards? Is it, you know, an arena thing? Is it a raid thing? Is it a brotherhood thing? Um, who knows? Uh, you know, there's a lot of options all throughout the game, and one of the questions I get asked the most, whether it's uh, from, you know, YouTube or, you know, just chatting about the game or even in alliance chat is you know what's everybody spending their t4 ability mats on you know what's the best thing to push towards and obviously there's a plethora of answers there's a plethora of videos out there um and what i'm doing is uh, i'm going to try to do something slightly different uh and that's uh, obviously it's a ranking i'll tell you that right now and i've got you know and i'll go through the rankings um, but one of the things that i'm doing today is really just kind of a precursor to the overall ranking I'm going to kind of show you the system I've got set up uh, and uh, the way that I've kind of looked. Because one of the biggest things in here is damage, you know, and it's this 30% damage increase, 70% damage increase, 50% damage increase. Well, we can't just assume that 70% damage increase is just as good as 30% damage increase. So you really got to look at the numbers there. Um, and that is one of the things that, um, you know, I'm working on. So, and I've done. So um, let's uh, minimize our, and you can probably see on the you know edges of the screen here, I got something, I got I got a little bit bigger, bigger you know screen looking at to, for y'all to look at, and that's because I am going to be focused on um, exactly uh, the the actual abilities, and I'm not going to get into this part right now, um, other than saying it's a huge list of abilities and that I've got tons and I've got every single T4 ability on here and I've got them, you know, some classification and, and eventually I'm going to rank. Um, I've got a lot of them and then I'll go through some of the top here. But what I want to show you guys is the damage ones I looked at. The one off to the right here, that was one I did back in the day, uh, probably th God, three, four months ago. I've, I've been working on this for a long time. Um, I did one video previously that was short. Um, and since, you know, they've got uh, the upgrades with the specials and ultimates, I wanted to do a new video and they had new um, characters they added to the game. So I wanted to add them. So just, you know, it's uh, I'm, a, I'm a working family man and uh, I've only got so many hours in a day that I can spend towards not just playing but stuff like this. So it took me a long time to get into this. So, you know, basically what you're seeing here is the, the general name of the ability, the, the character, you know, the special and for the special and ultimates, I put the level required. The damage that that character has at uh, seven star level 70 tier 11. Um, I thought that was, even though seven star and level 70 are can be a bit of a stretch for some people, I thought it was important to get that seventh star in there for the damage because it is a big increase. And um, tier 11 isn't quite, you know, the tier 12, 13s that are, um, are almost impossible, not impossible, but very difficult to get that only your higher echelon player is going to have. And then after that, I got you know the percent increase based on whatever that um, the that ability mat upgrade will give you. So in this case, it'd be a sixty percent damage increase, you know. And I got some revised total. And it, what I'm focused here is the actual damage increase that you're getting for that character. And I've just sorted those and then put a number next to it that ranked it. So you can see, you know, the Korath Ultimate is by far the highest increase in damage you can get in the game. It's, I mean, it's not even close, 1,300 more, you know, and then even this next to Iron Fist and Winter Soldier, those two are pretty solidly ahead of the Ultron basic, which guess what? Nobody can get that anyway, because you can't get them. So, you know, and then there's Electra, this Hulk ultimate, I have a note off to the side here adjacent, meaning, and I didn't do this for everyone. I just picked it up as I was doing it, but that's, that's an increase to the adjacent, um, enemies only same thing with the iron man basic it's it's an increase in damage only on his basic which i think is like a 30 percent chance so when i actually rank it above it's way down because i'm not i don't really care about you know a 30 percent chance of um 
you know, increase damage at that, even though it's a great increase, but it's like, well, if he's only doing it 30% of the time, I'm not going to really reap the benefits there. So that's something I really focus on more above when they overall ranking. So you can kind of see on this list, you know, Korath, Iron Fist, Winter Soldier, which I was a little surprised about and made me think, oh, you know, and uh, one of the reasons I want to rank that higher too is he can ult first turn. So, you know, that's a really nice kind of upgrade there. Um, if you've got them that high, obviously not a ton of people are using them, but, you know, it's a good damage increase where I'm sure that once people actually start getting him higher or if they focus him and spend the mats there, it's going to be a pretty hard hit. Uh, Spider-Man's ult's pretty solid. Iron Man basic, like I said, secondary. Iron Man alt, that's, that's a nice solid jump there. And then you've got this next echelon of, you know, the 4,000s here. You know where it's a hand blade master which is you know he's got actually some pretty good damage there and you can that can go up even higher with i think his passives a 25 percent increase which gets kind of silly there after a bit juggernauts alt nice to see that was kind of you know uh, on the higher echelon top 15 at least uh deadpool special cable alt you know i'm just kind of reading down the list here the reason that's green is because that's something that i've actually spent my resources on some of them, obviously, I knew that they weren't ranked as high, but I had those guys kind of either um, in multi-utility positions, whether it be Arena and Raid, or uh, Ra I'm sorry, Arena and Raid, uh, as well as Blitz. So I kind of focused on uh, some characters in those uh, in those areas uh, as far as when I was spending uh, my T4 ability mats. Let's see, we got, uh, yeah, I think, our second Brotherhood here, um, right? I didn't have a Magneto, right? Yeah, Juggernaut, Sabretooth. I think Magneto eventually makes his way, but maybe not. So you can kind of see the list here. I'll scroll down a little bit more. Um, I mean, it gets, once you start getting down to this range, I'm kind of like, meh. You know, I actually did, where is it at? Yeah, I, I, I actually put mine in Ross, even though I knew it was trash. Maybe not trash, but rock, uh, Rocket's basic. I have a strong tech team, and he counters a lot. So I threw some ability um, T4 ability mats into that um, upgrade, just um, knowing it'd get used a lot. So and I use him a lot. So you know, just because it's the an ability is a top rated um, on here doesn't mean that's the one you do. So uh, I should say that. Um, but anyway, I, I wanted to let you guys know that I am kind of working on this list, that I'm doing some math behind it. You can kind of see the effort I'm going through here. And uh, if you really want to get crazy, I could do some other stuff as far as, you know, understanding who's going to give you the most damage in a game. And, but we're not there. So um, I'm going to scroll up one last time here and just kind of, you know, give you a, a real brief overview of kind of what I'm doing here. You can see, you know, I've started at the bottom here. Is my classification is obviously rock. It's was broken, so I've labeled that broken. Total crap, crap, meh. Hmm, eh, that's okay. Good, and then great. So I'll go through these again in you know some pretty hardcore detail at some point, um, probably in the next week or two. Um, I actually I'll say week because I want to get this out before the next raid season or this current raid season ends. Um, but I'm going to be focused on the, the the top group here. So, you know, that way I'll rank the greats, the goods, maybe a couple okays. We'll see. You know, as you can see, I've got my rocket basic, you know, I, I did that one. So um, knowing it's going to be, you know, God, what is that, in the 50 range. So, you know, I'm not going to go down here and rank these. So, you know, whenever I do do this, I'll provide a link in the description below. But I thought it was important to kind of share with you guys that I am working on this. It's I'll, I'll provide the link, you know. And the nice thing about this when is when I do this, I've got all of the descriptions in here, so um, you can kind of see. Well, wait a minute, why is he rank this here? Oh, okay, I see. It's you know, Cable's alt is plus sixty damage, is five hundred thirty percent. You know, Loki's alt. I've got you know, uh, apply stealth to se apply stealth to self and all allies for two turns, up from one turn. So you can kind of see, you know, the actual upgrade you're getting. And you can get this stuff from msf.gg as well. Um, but I, I wanted to have it in one spot where I could kind of see and just sort. And, you know, when I'm going through here, I'm figuring out what do I want to move in what place. Um, I've got all kinds of formulas in here. So that way when I sort, you know, it, it the information stays as far as all these different, uh, 
you know, damage increases and all that kind of thing. And that's what you can see here. And this over here is actually the rank. So, you know, I can see this and, you know, I've got 111 rank there for damage. It's Storm's Alt. I've labeled it as a great. And main reason is 10, 10 damage per charge. So you can't really equate that, you know, on a, on a set um, parameter per se as far as ranking because it, it's going to vary. So there, it's in a variable I can't control, but I know it's a, you know, a, a really nice ability there because, you know, as you're getting six, seven, and you're not going to use that more than likely for her alt unless it's, you know, 10 plus charges. And that's, that's a huge percent increase. So that's going to sit up there in that great section. So anyway, I, I think you get the idea. Um, and like I said, I'm going to, I'm going to get something out here in the next week or, um, before the, the uh, the end of the raid season so you guys can kind of see my thoughts on where these are obviously you can you know pause the video if you really want to see where i'm currently at in some of these things but uh um and i'll give you a link to that as well um, which will include that you know ranking below so as always if you uh, like the video you want to see more like it you know i do walkthroughs i um, do some theory crafting and every once in a while i uh, kind of dork out and get into my spreadsheets so Personally, I don't think they're dorky. I think they're kind of fun. Um, I got spreadsheets in them, probably everything I do. But uh, maybe fun's not the right word. Spreadsheets are never fun. But uh, I do like getting into the details of stuff. So it helps me kind of sort out my thoughts and, you know, think about things and then kind of get a macro view of um, all these micro things in game. So uh, if you want to see more like it, click that subscribe button as well as that like button. And we'll see you guys again soon. Thanks.